Happy holidays! <laughs> I have to capture this um, tip um, for lessons that I know are needed. Sorry for all the ums. I'll try to make this as short as possible, but it has to do with being able to easily switch between Skype accounts, run multiple Skype accounts at the same time, and easily switch Skype versions um, to any version that you want. So, here we go. Hi, back here. Okay, so Multi Skype Launcher is this tool here. Um, ignore the big ad for G Recorder. Um, you have to be careful where you download it from. And you can see that I have a lot of Skype accounts. Um, even some of my clients are in here, so I should hide it. <laughs> but that's Multi Skype Launcher. Okay. And uh, the icon for Multi Skype Launcher looks like this this guy with the three green skypes okay so but this is what we found where you go to download it really really very very useful to be a power skyper uh, when you go to download it from the mult from the regular CNET download page it comes with a lot of adware and a lot of um, actually it had a virus so Mike here couldn't even um, <laughs> couldn't even get his malware to let it go by and when he finally did carefully um, it just quarantined it anyway it was a lot of trouble and um, we don't want people to be you know get malware and viruses so he found a safer place to download multi skype launcher and it's at softtonic.com he said he tried a new source um, I did what yeah, I just quarantined the the one from CNET download, download.cnet or whatever it is. So I'm going to put this as a link inside of my CU on Skype membership um, under Skype tools. And um, I did try it myself and uh, I didn't get any virus warnings and I've got pretty good virus protection set up. Uh, first, Softronics had two programs that they, they still have adware. So as you're installing anything, especially if it's free, you have to be very careful as you're installing it to read every page and uncheck any programs that wanted that on offer basically as, as add-ons to the free tool, right? All kinds of stuff. Some of them might be malware, some of them just might be, you know, not useful and pop up and cause things in your program in your computer. So you don't you want to avoid those. So even with soft ton tonics he found two programs that wanted me to install but I unchecked them. That's what you want to do is uncheck them and uh, both neither would install. Now the installer of the multi Skype launcher which is what you do want itself um, only wanted to install one other program and that's G Recorder. That's where they have this giant ad at the top. This is not G Recorder, this is an ad for G Recorder and I've used Multi Skype Launcher without it for years. So no, you do not need to install G Recorder um, but when you do install Multi Skype Launcher it will have this G Recorder ad and it's bigger than Multi Skype Launcher here. So uh, what else do you see? Maybe, right, it records Skype calls, but <clears throat> like I said, I use um, other tools. Let me try to shrink this so you can see the rest of my chat. Um, at Softonics, they don't have the same add ons in malware. Well, they have some add ons, but they didn't have the malware. He didn't get the virus, his virus program to stop it and quarantine it like he did at CNET. So yes, G Recorder for, is for Skype calls, but I don't need it because I use lots of other tools. Sorry for the typos. Pamela also is a free Skype tool, or it has a basic free level that allows you to record Skype calls. If you need that information, I'm glad to help you. But we also use Jing, and we use Screencast-O-Matic, and uh, lots of free tools for recording Skype calls. Um, Audio Acrobat and uh, what do we use? Um, I have an audio, if you just want audio, I have a, an audio one too, but I'm not sure if that's free. Anyway, 
you can make 15 minute video calls and and break it down into the audio call if you want only using Screencast-O-Matic. But anyway, we have lots of free tools for recording, so you don't have to install G-Recorder to install um, Multi-Skype Launcher. So again, it's very, very handy for switching back and forth to all the many versions of Skype that you might want to use. Um, 6.21 is over here somewhere. There we go. These are on another screen. I don't have the video recording on. 6.2 is the last moderator friendly version of Skype. So above we have cloud based versions of Skype. And um, 6.2, it was way before 6.14. Don't get confused by the numbering. <laughs> Uh, it went 1418202122 and uh, then 7. Okay, but 6.2 was back the old P2P version all and all the 6s before that and the 5s before that are great for Skype room moderation and um, 6.21 is the version that people are wanting to um, revert back to. There's a petition now on Skype um, for uh, uh, getting Skype to pay attention. If you need that link, let me know, or I'll try to put it below the video. Uh, but anyways, in order to be able to run old P2P version Skypes that allow you to create moderatable <laughs> Skype rooms, Skype rooms you can moderate, um, that was the last one, 6.2, um, it's very, very helpful to be able to switch back and forth to different Skype accounts and different Skype versions using Multi-Skype Launcher. Again, if you can't figure out how to do that yourself, um, contact me and uh, I'm glad to go over that with you in, a, in a, a coaching session or even do it for you in your um, in your Skype via Remote Control Team Viewer. I can do that in your Skype for you. Multi-Skype Launcher is one of the things I haven't mentioned um, this last year and it's a great tool to use to um, switch back and forth even between Skype versions. You absolutely need current Skype versions in order to be able to use old Skype versions. I switch back and forth to whatever version I want all the time. So Multi-Skype Launcher is not just for using mul multiple Skype accounts, it's also for um, it's also for uh, this is different Skype accounts. It's also for uh, helping you switch back and forth between a current Skype version, whichever one you want to use. 6.21 is the last one that didn't have all these crazy changes that started in 6.22. Um, to switch back and forth between a current version and a moderate, you know, a version where you can create new Skype rooms that you can moderate. Create new Skype rooms, not just moderate them, but create them. Anyway, happy holidays. I hope that helps. <laughs> Bye for now. See you on Skype.